Dr. Rao, how is chronic constipation diagnosed? So when you see a physician with these symptoms, the physician will take a careful, detailed history of your symptoms that we talked about, and then follow that up with a proper examination, such as a rectal examination. But more specifically with regards to tests, our tests are designed to either identify a secondary cause for constipation, such as thyroid function tests, uh, blood sugar tests, um, sometimes a stool test, such as is there blood present in, in stool uh, or infection in stool, and uh, other metabolic tests such as uh, high calcium levels in your blood and so on, or if you're anemic. So these are all the things that can predispose you to constipation. So these are general tests to identify a secondary cause of constipation. But assuming that you don't have any secondary cause, or sometimes, as I mentioned, a cancer of the colon, causing blockage and so on. So we may need a colonoscopy. Not everybody with constipation needs a colonoscopy. You only need it if you are a 50 plus individual or if you have any alarming features such as weight loss or blood in your stool or you feel something or you're anemic and so on. But assuming you don't have any of the secondary conditions, then it is more important to learn about a problem within the colon or the rectum. So there are now specific tests that we have available to identify this. So two tests that are commonly used is called a colon transit study. In other words, we're measuring the speed at which the colon moves stool through itself. So one is you take a simple capsule containing plastic rings. You take the capsule, and usually five days later, you have a simple extra of the belly. If you have passed all the markers, then none of the plastic rings will be in the colon. That means you have a normal transit. On the other hand, you've retained a number of the plastic rings that will tell us you have a slow colon transit, in other words, you've got a sluggish colon. Another more appropriate and probably a better way to do this is using a test called wireless motility capsule, where you swallow a capsule with pressure sensors and temperature sensors. And then the advantage of this capsule technique is it not only measures colon speed, but also measures small bowel and stomach speed. So with one test, we get an entire gut profile. And a recent study actually showed that this wireless motility capsule is superior to other tests such as stomach emptying test or a colon transit study by itself. And there's no radiation with this test. So these tests help us to study the colon function. Now, anorectal region is the last foot of the colon. And problems in this region can also lead to constipation. Either you don't sense stool when it comes into the rectum, or you may sense stool and you're trying to pass it, but your muscles are not working properly. And you may inadvertently retain stool or push the stool back inside your body. So that's a condition called dyssynergia. To identify that, we do a test called anorectal manometry. We put a small pencil-thick flexible tube in the rectum with multiple pressure sensors and a balloon. And it's a test that takes about an hour and we study how the muscles work and the nerves work and how you sense stool. And then we also do a third test called a balloon expulsion test. So we try and recreate an artificial stool in the lab. We put this inside the body. We give privacy for the patient to expel this. And we see how long they take. A normal person should take a minute or less. But people with constipation may have difficulty passing this balloon. So we use these surrogate marker tests, if you like, in the laboratory to more precisely define if a patient has a slow or a lazy colon, if a patient has anorectal problem, such as dyssynergia, or a balloon expulsion test, or a sensory problem. Or some people have a mixed problem. They have upper and lower bowel issues. And some people have IBS with constipation, where they're hypersensitive. So to identify these precise mechanisms, we will use this test to give us more precise information.